Flanders up from behind. Gates are back. And away in racing from the 1,200 meter mark. Give them a chance to settle fully into Stripe, but one Stripe was one of the first ones to respond. States had also shown some good early toe. Down towards the inside, Turbo 20 also right up there in the front line. Aristotle also shows some good early pace on debut. They made a line of three past the 1,000 meter mark, but now one Stripe decides to get urgent and steps on. He's now the sole leader. One Stripe, the leader, just ahead of Turbo 20. Aristotle, the blue sleeves, purple cap, races away in third. Then comes Gnarly, who's racing alongside Bright Future. Then another two lengths back trying to Golden Destiny, who's currently racing about five or six lengths off the early pace, stated as his next best and a long way back to Wood World, as there's about ten lengths that separates top to tail, and one stripe has gone three lengths ahead past the false rail with 400 meters left to go, one stripe, the one they've got to catch, in second is Aristotle, Golden Destiny starts to move up down towards the inside, then comes Turbo 20, followed by Stated, but one stripe has gone five, made that six lengths clear, one stripe not stopping, and there's only one way for one stripe, and that's straight to the winner's box, with 50 meters left to go, you can stand in the queue. One stripe, a comfortable winner, and very impressive. Second place, Aristotle. Then came Golden Destiny. Fourth place gets close. Stated ran on really well, just ahead of Turbo 20. Further back to Wood World, then came Gnarly. And a long way back to Bright Future. Number six, One Stripe, the winner. The orange and blue salts, two from the right-hand side. Already with 300 meters left to go. It was about five lengths clear and continued to extend that lead. The son of one world out of a Silvano mare certainly makes his presence felt here. And another runner today to follow in the near future. Bred by Drakenstein Stud and owned, of course, by Mr. Rekhe Sudulim. So big congratulations to the winning connections for number six, One Stripe. A very impressive winner and probably the most impressive winner we've seen all of the summer season so far. Around Fenica Grode, Aristotle Nasran, just the winner was quite impressive. Yeah, no, he's a big baby and he's always said, well, you know, the penny's still far from dropping with him. I would say six months down the line, you'll see uh, very much of a different was um, The winner obviously won a very good race, but well, it's just uh, close to ready yet. Thanks, Grant. To Brandon. Thank you very much, MJ. Really appreciate it. Uh, good to see Bernard Fader Herb uh, standing here with his good mate Grant Van Niekirk. Um, well done, Bernie. Obviously, a lot more streetwise today. He came out uh, in a flash and he's won a good race today. Yes, you know, um, last time he was a little bit green, but 50 meters after the winning post, I was going flying past the field, so I was very happy with the run. And, you know, Mr. Marshall doesn't bring him to the track, so it was his first time here. Today he jumped out and knew exactly what he was doing. And uh, yeah, I just gave him one little reminder just to teach him that he had to race and not play around. And uh, after that, I punched him out. And I just hope that he enjoyed this run because he can be very hot, but we've got him to settle down. Well done to the whole team back at home, lovely grooms. And yeah, I'm just glad the horse could win because they spent a bit of money on this horse. And I think it's well spent money. Well done, Bernard. Thank you. There we go. That's uh, the comment from Bernard Fader Herb. Uh, lovely to get uh, that input. And I think he's a horse that we can follow going forward. Obviously, came out. Uh, he was a lot more street wise. And certainly, he's going to get better and better with racing. I'll get you back to Vicky, who's standing by to close off the interview. Well done to Mr. Marshall. Well done to Rakesh Sugalim as well. Thank you very much, Brandon. With regards to One Strap, the son of One World, well purchased by Vaughan Marshall and uh, also Rakesh at the Red to Run sale. First of all, Mr. Marshall, well done. Thank you very much, Vicky. Obviously needing his first run. Today he just showed that with that experience under his belt, he's, he's quite a professional. Yeah, you know, uh, we must consider that the first run was 1,000 metres, which possibly a little on the short side for him. But um, since that run, he, he's come on a lot and, uh, well, we saw what, what he's done and really I'm thrilled about it. And uh, good luck to Rakesh Sagulam. Um, you know, he, he's a very, very big supporter of ours and it's just nice for him to have a, a decent horse. I think with regards to the purchase he was all the talk at the sale but what he comes with is the double bonus which is a huge draw card at the Red to Run sale. Well ex absolutely and Rakesh deserves that don't worry. <laughs> well I'm going to ask you if you don't mind to accept all these checks and one of them um, well they'll all be coming your way shortly the, the Bloodstock South African one first. Thanks very much Vicky and uh, good luck to One World. Well, you said you've got a number of them. You're knocking them into the winner's box one at a time. Well done. Yeah, very much so. 
There you go. You can ex please accept your Bloodstock South Africa bonus check. So thank you very much. You've got to stand for a photo if you don't mind. Photographers will uh, take that. And then Justin for Mark is going to... <laughs> Vaughn's not letting go. If you can please accept the... Um, there's two of them, one for the vendor and one for the owner. So it's 75,000 Rand to the owner and 25,000 Rand to the vendor. So well done. Thank you very much. Well done. <laughs> it's a very jo joyous uh, occasion here on the stage for one strap. So well done. And also well done to uh, Drock and Stansad for breeding what's turning out to be a lovely and uh, very racy type of individual. Ladies and gentlemen, did you see that? One stripe, what a race. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, I looked left, I looked right as soon as the race started and the horse had already completed the race. What was that? What a win. The horse was just phenomenal. And of course, this moment is about our Hollywood Bets winning groom. Our Hollywood Bets winning groom for race number two is none other than Temba. Temba, a massive, massive congratulations. I'm sure you all know Temba's face because Temba is also the groom for Silver Operator. Is that correct? Yes, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Congratulations, Temba. Tell me about uh, One Stripe. Is it a naughty horse back at home? No, it's a nice horse and a silk way home. It's a nice horse. It listens? Yes, it listens. Of course. I mean, if it listens to you and it keeps winning like that, I'm sure we'll have a champion sometime soon. A massive congratulations. Timber, you've been working with uh, Mr. Marshall now for quite some time. How long has it been? Four years. Four years? Oh, you're definitely a part of the furniture. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with our Hollywood Bets winning groom, Timber, for race number two. Ladies and gentlemen, hold your horses. Let's go watch that replay one more time to see that stunning finish. And ladies and gentlemen, after that, we head over to race number three. <laughs> 